What's happening guys, Safety Liner C2 here. In this video, I am going to show you how to download ROR version 0.4.8. So it's a little bit different than in previous versions, but we're gonna walk through it together. I haven't downloaded it, so we're gonna figure it out. So if you look down here, uh, there, there are two different ways that you can download it. You can download it with this new desktop app called itch.io. Uh, which of course is the recommended way um, or you can download it without and I assume it's just uh, like how it has been to download but as you can see it says with the desktop app the latest build will be automatically downloaded and installed also only the changed files will be downloaded instead of the complete game so that is the way that we're going to want to go just to make our life easier so we're not having to download uh, the full updates and put them in game. So, uh, first thing we're going to do, and and I'll link everything down below so that you uh, you don't have to look for anything. Uh, but first, download and install the itch.io app. So let's click on this link, and we're going to want to log in. So uh, since I don't have a login, we're going to go ahead and create an account. As you can see up here. In the right hand corner we have the register button and uh, this is all we need to do so let me go ahead and fill some stuff out in here. Alright so now that all of this is filled out we're going to want to hit I accept terms of service, create an account, and here we go. Okay so now that we've actually logged in and created our account we're going to go ahead and download the app. So let's go back to the home page and here we go we're going to go ahead download app and start download. And here we go. And we're going to go ahead and hit that. And then you can choose wherever you want for it to download. I'm probably going to change that. Alright, so now I've changed the location for where I want it to go. So we're going to go ahead and hit install now. And now we wait. Perfect. So now the app has automatically opened itself as you can see completely downloaded and it's finishing the install so now we get to this screen going back to the instructions now we want to log into the app and then we're gonna restart the PC after that so let's go ahead and log in and log in there we go and now we're going to go ahead close out of this and restart my PC alright so the PC is restarted now we're gonna go ahead and go back to itch and open that all right and here we go so now we're going to go back here and click this link to install ROR so let's go ahead and click that and we do want to open that so here we go uh, and this looks like it's just showing off what uh, what ROR is and there's all the download stuff for everything else, but we're just going to go ahead and hit install right there. And now we're going to choose where to install it. So chances are you're not going to want to change that unless you moved the location where you originally installed itch. So I'm keeping it where I originally installed itch uh, in a separate hard drive. So now we're going to go ahead and hit install. And now we wait all right and it looks like that is it so let's go ahead hit launch and that should open up ROR it looks like it might take a minute we're gonna go ahead and install some other stuff I guess um, just because we are opening it up for the first time so this might happen to you this is only just gonna help the game run properly this is official Microsoft stuff so don't be worried about that but let's go ahead and wait for this to install and then we should get in game. Alright, so now we're going to choose our rendering system and I believe that's what I use on there. Uh, we're just going to leave everything as is. So we're going to hit OK and there we go. Now it's loading everything up. I'm not sure if it's going to transfer over everything from 0.4.6 and 7, but by the look by the looks of it, these files are all my other games, or from my other versions of the game. Um, so, 
looks like it is going to work and you're not going to have to worry about transferring anything over. So that's always an added bonus. All right, and it looks like we are in game now. So let's just go ahead and look around, I guess. So, uh, cool. Uh, let's see, there is no configurator from what I know. So this is just, you now launch into this and uh, let's see, multiplayer, here we go. You can just connect to whatever one you want, I guess. So this one would just be as if you're using 0.4.6, type in the server host, the port number, and the password. Uh, obviously you can't see it because I blurred it out. Uh, and then in here, let's see, default server password. So I, that's, that's fancy. Uh, and then a player token. If you have a user token, if you're like an admin or a moderator on a server, that's where you would put that. Uh, of course your default username, just whatever that is. Um, and then, cool. So let's go ahead, launch into single player, make sure everything works. We're just gonna go here and should load up fairly quickly. Let's see, and yes, I'm fully aware. Okay, so, so it is different. Normally, in previous versions of the game, uh, you would come up here and then there'd be a little drop down menu for uh, the tools and adding a new vehicle and switching vehicles and all of that. But uh, as you can see in here, now we have a very simple uh, drop down menu here. So let's just go ahead and get a new vehicle. Uh, we'll just spawn that. I don't know what that is. So, and there we go. That's worked. So coming up here. Uh, now we can switch over to a separate vehicle if we want. Uh, show the vehicle description. Most of this is all just stuff that you've seen before. Uh, just different. It just looks better. Uh, so let's go ahead. Uh, everything down here looks the same. So not much has changed there. Uh, and all the controls should be the same. Those normally don't change from version to version. So uh, Other than that, it looks like... Uh, that it's mostly the same, just updated for, you know, <laughs> for for fun. It, it's been a necessary update, so, uh, yeah. So, I think that's pretty much it. That has been how to download and install ROR version 0.4.8, and just a quick first look at it. Um, so, that is pretty much it. Hopefully, you learned something, but, yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down here, where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up, or version 0.4.9 will never come out. And make sure you also share this video with a friend. Show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care, don't get raped. So, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching.